tonight, the search continues for Buffalo State Honors student Sanaya Dennis. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Russo. My colleague Ashley Rowe tonight joining us live from Niagara Falls, where family and friends have been focusing their search efforts for the past several days. Ashley. Jeff, this story has perplexed and captivated the community ever since last week. The Buffalo State College sophomore was last seen leaving her dorm around Saturday, April 24th in the evening. Now, the reason why I'm standing at Niagara Falls State Park is because according to police, a ping from her cell phone was detected here. That is 17 miles from campus. Family and friends on foot patrol have been combing this location over the weekend. All they have found is a black t-shirt near Luna Island, but there's no word on if that shirt actually belongs to Sanaya. Since that ping that I referenced, there has been no cell phone or electronic activity, no financial activity, no other communication at all with family and friends. And Jeff, the search for this missing 19 year old is now in the national spotlight. Take a look. for answers as they search for Sanea Dennis. The 19-year-old Buffalo State College student has been missing since Saturday, April 24th, when she was last seen in this surveillance image from inside her dorm. Her Sanea's disappearance and her family's plea to help her in trying to find her made headlines on Good Morning America today. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller has been on this story all day today. You were on this story last week. Mm -hmm. Hannah, this is one. I said it right off the top has been resonating with the community. Absolutely, Ashley. I mean, as soon as we parked here today, people have been coming up to me all day asking me, what is the progress in the case? How can I help in the search efforts? And people from the community from near and far have been gathering here on Goat Island for this boots on the ground effort to find 19 year old Sanaya Dennis. It's the last known cell phone activity of 19 year old Sanaya Dennis, a Snapchat photo taken what appears to be here in front of the Nikola Tesla statue on Goat Island. It's the spot where Sherry Twitchell and her sister Samantha Rosso from Sloan immediately wanted to come in their search for Sanaya. Find out where her picture, that last picture was taken. Police have not publicly addressed that Snapchat photo, but the Buffalo State student's cell phone last pinged in the area of Goat Island at 123 3 a.m. Sunday morning, April 25th. Dennis has been missing for nine days. At first, we were told that her phone pinged over in the Goat Island Three Sisters area, but that what we know now is that ping was her cell phone activity of her taking the picture or what we suspect to be her taking the picture. Julia Stevens has been organizing a boots on the ground search for Dennis every day since last week. She says this weekend, searchers found a black shirt and turned it over to police. Dennis was last seen here wearing all black on the elevator, leaving her dorm on Buffalo State's campus that night. I don't think that her family is losing hope, and I think that everybody that has shown up here today and that has shown up here to the search efforts every day has hope that we will be returning Sanaya home safely. We have not heard directly from university police since this tense hour long news conference last Friday. Buffalo State Police are the lead agency on this case and the only agency authorized to speak on the search efforts. We've tried multiple times to get any new information from university police. They're, they found it. They found what? Video of her. Yeah. Okay, well, we need to see it. The last thing police said Friday was that the NFTA has video of Dennis on or at a bus terminal from the night she disappeared. What we don't know is what that video shows, if she was alone, where that video was taken, and the timestamp on that footage. All questions have been referred to university police. Come on, let's find her. Bring her home. She's worth there's another search party gathering here on Goat Island coming up at 6 p.m. tonight. This is, you know, members of the community from near and far. They're looking for any trace of Sanaya Dennis. They're not only here on Niagara Falls, I should mention as well, but they are all over the area. Some people are even out at the outlet mall. So it's 
wide. It's an expansive search. Henny, you just received an email from Buffalo State. What did it say? Yeah, just moments ago, before we went on the air, we did receive a statement from President Catherine Conway Turner at Buffalo State College. I want to read you just part of that statement here today. It says, as Chief Carey stated this weekend, we recognize that there's great interest in details of this case, but please understand that in order to protect to protect the integrity of this multi-agency investigation, we are unable to publicly disclose certain aspects of this case. She adds, this remains an active missing persons investigation and our dedicated officers, investigators, and UPD staff will not rest until Sanaya is found. So again, this case still remaining active, but that could be why we're not getting too many answers to those questions we've been asking since Friday. And we also haven't really heard much from the family either since mm -hmm. Friday when there was that very fiery news conference in which you could definitely see that the frustration mm -hmm. oozing from the family, right? Absolutely. I mean, the family is here from New York City. They've been here a, a week now. Sanaya has been missing for nine days. They will not rest. They will not sleep until she is found. And Friday, they were very frustrated with the investigation and what they felt was kind of a lack of investigation at this point. I mean, they, they're feeling all kinds of emotions. Their loved one is missing. Of course. But what we know right now, I mean, we have reached out to them multiple times to see if they'd like to come on, do an interview with us. At this point, they are referring all questions to UPD, Buffalo State University Police. Okay. So we haven't heard from the family since Friday. Well, Hannah, I know you're going to stay on it. Thank yeah. you very much.